History was made. Close to the mouth of the Singapore River, a platoon of Indian sepoys with their British officers, an audience of Malay farmers and fishermen, Chinese Gambia planters, the Orang Laut, and Europeans, including British, Dutch, French, and Danes. Sir so Standard Raffles had made a name for himself as secretary to the governor of Penang two years before it was handed back to the Dutch and one year before he was made lieutenant governor of Vancouver. In full view outside the mouth of the river were the two masted catches, the single masted sloops, the armed frigates, the fast moving schooners, junks from China, Annam and Siam, and boats from Borneo. In the Armenian community in Singapore, dry docks and repair facilities would have to be provided. The Tatum Brother Dock Company was formed in 1864 to meet these needs. However, it was the people who kept New Harbor open. <laughs> came from Shanghai to Singapore in about 1880. By the turn of the century, there were over 6,000 rickshaws. Their rapid increase must have caused some problems. <laughs>
have to match to ensure that they are compatible. The tie that proves tied to our front is a good part of it. And this is how we want to do it. In Southeast Asia, the British searched for a new port that would allow them to compete with the Dutch. When the British first landed in Singapore, it was a sleepy fishing village. So in 1819, a treaty with the Malay rulers of Singapore was signed which allowed the British to set up a trading post in the southern tip of the island. To prevent the Dutch from taking over the island, a further treaty was signed which ceded the entire island to the British. And so, modern Singapore was born. The prosperous, cosmopolitan Singapore of today was built on maritime trade. Trade that attracted a vast migrant population from a geographical array of nationalities. Today, Singapore is one of the most culturally diverse countries in the world. The waters, where pirates once planted sailing ships, now plays host to the world's trading fleet in one of the world's busiest harbors and history. The fish body resting on the sea symbolizes the ancient city of Kamasa, the Javanese word for ocean, and its lion head commemorates the legend of the discovery of the island by Sainila Utama. Singapore, the lion city, celebrates its people and salutes its visitors. It is said that the Malayan returns to Sentosa each year. Thank you. 